Okay, I had a little connector there that was just barely off. I had to pop it back on with the bottom of my rubber shoe so I didn't get jolted. It would be a shocking experience. For those who don't know, these are all wild raspberry brambles back here that uh, grow on the property, especially after you log. I've had them here for a while, but these are all wild raspberry brambles. You can see there. And then uh, here, usually end of July, 1st of August is when they really are in high gear. They're really good. They're not as large as, uh, now see, eventually all this back here, I'll be fenced. See, my property goes back a quarter mile. So eventually this will all be fenced and there's some little mini ponds back there on my property and stuff. And so I'm just trying to do this a little bit at a time. I'm trying to conquer what I can. <laughs> before it conquers me, you know, so. All right, heading south now, along the eastern side of the fence up here. Like I said, you can see all that stuff out there, and it's not as easy to get up, it's not as hard to get up as you think. Oh, I got some visitors here coming to see me. Carl, OP. The two little boys are heading back this way to graze. But uh, it's, uh, it just takes some time, and sometimes it takes an extra set of hands, and God bless her, my wife can't get out here and do this stuff. I can get out here and do it all day. But when you got an extra set of hands, it really helps, especially when you have to stop, get on the bobcat, get off the bobcat, cut up the wood, get on the bobcat, get off the bobcat. It just kills you. If you had two individuals out here instead of one, oh, I could do, I could do some damage out here. So, anyways, more raspberry brambles there. You can see the little berries. Oops. Starting there. These are all wild raspberry brambles. They they really did such a terrific job logging out here. They cut just the right amount. I've got just enough trees left, but it's just enough where the uh, the grass can grow now. It's opened up enough where this grass can take off. I haven't even seeded this part up here, which I'd like to do maybe the end of this season, if not the first of next season, to seed some of it. But uh, this is what you get when you have a fella cutting it. My logger is a guy who also raises goats and cows, and he knew exactly what I was after and did a perfect job, really. So see these young maples here are left. The, uh, the hemlocks there, there's a couple maples right there. One of my big hemlocks, you can see over there that's horizontal, that fell down in that big storm we had. But the hemlocks give a lot of, uh, a lot of shade. So we leave the little hemlock stands there like this. See, you see those up there. I say hemlock, you'd probably call them, what do we call them in Florida here? Australian pines, I don't know. We call them hemlock trees. But they give a lot of shade, so you like to leave the little hemlock stands here and there so where the cows have shade out here in the hot summertime, especially my Highlanders. So, uh, anyway, so walking along the eastern side, headed south here. See, that's a big old uh, piece of maple right there. That's a big chunk of maple right there. That's all just really good firewood for me to get up here and cut up. Once again, if I find the time. <laughs> Heading up on top of the hill here, we got our little ridge back here. You can see this is all mowed down. And obviously back there where it's not fenced in, on the other side of the fence, it's all wild. Brambles, weeds, grasses. That, probably this time next year, will look like this because I'm going to keep moving the pasture back and letting them have at it. Headed south along the top of the ridge here. See this grass has come in really nice with this rain and this was not seeded nothing. But it's really come in well with all the rain we've had. We've been very blessed with the rain. There's another big, couple of big hemlocks there. And here's the one that fell over in the storm. I came out here that morning after the storm 
and I'm looking around for the cows. I couldn't find them anywhere. I said, oh no, because I was just fearing that a tree had fallen over on top of the electric fence and they'd gotten out and started picking out on some of the wild stuff. Well, I come back here and they're just going to town munching out this tree. Of course, it didn't fall and hit him. It was in the middle of the night and they were hunkered down up front there, of course. But this tree had fallen down. They came back here and were just going to town on it, having a good old time. That's a big old hemlock tree that uh, I'll have to cut up and get out of here. I'll give it to my neighbor. He'll make some board out of it. They make a uh, pine board out of that kind of wood. And he's got a little mini, uh, I think he's got like a little mini, uh, there's out back there. That's facing 